Welcome to Lompoc. We are here. This is about 45 minutes north of Santa Barbara. And this is an absolutely gorgeous region. It's wine country. And we're also going to visit some really cool restaurants, breweries, and the mission. Ooh, let's go. Sanford Winery. I love this property. It's so gorgeous. Let's go check it out. We're gonna take the ATV tour. So we are here in late July and as you can see the grapes are just budding right now. They're almost ready for harvest a couple months away. Hey guys, we're at Sanford Winery. I'm trying one of their delicious reserved Pinot Noirs. Nice burgundy-esque, old world style. We're here delicious. overlooking the property. It's rustic, it's beautiful, it's old California. We're here in the country. There's a beautiful warm breeze. The sun is shining, blue skies dappled with clouds, and we're here amongst the vines. We didn't know until today that they have ATV tours. How cool is that? If you're here with your family and friends, come check out the ATV tours. Links in the description. Natural spring water that they use to irrigate on the farms here. Look at how pure that water is. Unfiltered mountain water. Oh, I'm older than I know. Oh, wow. You can like taste the minerals. Now, this is our 2018 Sanford and Benedict um, Pinot. If you can see, there's sections of it that haven't even started dripping down yet of the legs. And that is, to me, just, it speaks right there. You know this is going to be full and smooth in your mouth. So good right here. I'm inside the Santa Rita Hills Lavender Farm. They grow lavender here that's used for essential oils. And they also have a little farm stand right here where they have culinary lavender as well as honey. You're in a sea of purple. If you like these rustic views as much as we do, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe down below. Along the country roads here, you'll spot many farm stands. We stopped to pick up some eggs and honey before heading to our next location, which takes us back in time. This is La Purisma Mission, State Historic Park. Across this bridge lies California's 11th mission in glimpse at life during the 1820s. The Civilian Conservation Corps restored the buildings and the grounds between 1934 and 1941. Visiting one of the 21 missions here in California, right in Lompoc. And there were about a thousand people living here back in the day, and it was built to be a self contained community. So they had animals and farms here. So we're walking through the mission right now, and it's like going back in time. They even have some of the period furniture here from the time that they renovated it. It's really interesting. We're walking through California's colonial past here. This area used to be inhabited by the Chumash Indians. And in 1812, this building was almost entirely destroyed by an earthquake. And we are here at La Purisima Mission. Check it out with us. Go in the visitor center. We're based here in Lompoc and we are going to Halama and also gonna check out some of these wineries really close by. But right now we're at the mission. The Chumash Basket. They're known to be master weavers, constructed using adobe. So this here talks about La Purisma mission was in disrepair and it had to be restored. One of my favorite parts about visiting this mission is the grounds. We were underneath an olive tree with Spanish moss you can hear all the birds in the background. They're having quinceañeras out here. It's really beautiful.
So right outside of the mission, they have a trail and you can go to the top where they have the cross. That's where we're going. We walk up the sandy path and are able to get an aerial view of the mission and Lompoc down below. We made it! We made it to the top of the cross hike here at the mission. Mike, how was it? Amazing, great exercise. We're ready for wine. Woo, let's go to the wineries. Hey, we are outside at Babcock Winery, right here outside of Lompoc, and we are trying the Chardonnays. They are so wonderfully produced. The winemakers here are very passionate about the wines, and they have gorgeous outdoor spaces filled with roses and just the views of the hills. It's a great place to be. After Babcock, we head on over to a winery that was featured in the movie Sideways, a comedy drama about a road trip through the Santa Ynez region. In the movie, the main characters try the Sauvignon Blanc with little hints of clove, but here we're trying the trio of Pinot Noirs with a side of music and dancing. Hey guys, we just tried Solvang Brewing Company right here in Lompoc. Super awesome, casual place. They have delicious beers, it's dog friendly, and we tried the tri-tip pizza. Try their salads too, they're delicious. I had the double IPA, enjoy. We are in the downtown of Lompoc and we are taking a mural tour. Right behind us is a depiction of the Chumash Indians, which were the original inhabitants of this area. We're gonna go check out some more murals. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. This one is called Christ of Freedom. On this side we have fields of gold depicting the early 1900s in Lompoc. The next mural is a little bit more present day. It's called Lompoc Vintage celebrating the Santa Barbara County Vintners Association. Really cute country stores here in the downtown. Look at this, selling all kinds of plants. And in this vintage building is Southside Coffee, classic neighborhood spot. Walking around the downtown, we're checking out the murals. And one thing you'll notice is that the pace of life here is much more chill. Even compared to Santa Barbara, it's even a couple steps more chill than that. Of the murals are celebrating the heritage of Lompoc and they're also celebrating the current Lompoc including the wine region and the Vandenberg Air Force Base which is very close by. It's a lot of really cool space age art too. how times have changed. Lompoc was founded in 1871 as a temperance colony, but now it's known for its Pinot Noirs. Look at this street. These are Italian stone pines. Isn't this like the most quintessential vintage street right here? One of our favorite things about Lompoc is driving through the winding, rustic country roads. You may even spot some cattle or deer along the way. We cross through the hilly landscape of Lompoc and 20 minutes away, we reach the ocean. camping here. We even have little like cabins up there. This is Halama State Beach. You can camp right on the beach. These folks have their hammocks set up steps away from the ocean. How cool is that? Describe this beach. Wild, beautiful, and spoiled. Check it out. Halama State Beach. There are restrooms and showers here, so you don't have to worry about that. A lot of people are barbecuing. There's also the train that comes straight through here, which is really cool. So this is the Halama Beach Store, and it is 
famous for their halama burgers. Mike has tried one in the past and mm -hmm. he said it is his favorite, Amazing. right? Amazing. Reminds me of some of the beaches up in like Carmel and Half Moon Bay a little bit. Windswept beaches. Right over these hills is the Air Force Base, the Vandenberg Air Force Base. Very famous. It's where they launch a lot of the space shuttles. We want to thank you for joining us. We hope that you get a chance to check this out very soon. This is unreal. Smash that thumbs up button. Come and join us at the beach. Subscribe for more travels. Woo!